Hey yo, what's up? Matoka this. I feel like my introductions are getting more and more casual as I keep making videos, but I didn't make a video before I actually made the video in this case, so I just thought I would do a little update about what's happening so it's not a surprise or you guys get lost. So I did a collaboration with my friend Anita. She has a YouTube channel called Anita Dollar, which I will put somewhere. The concept of the video is kind of my idea and her idea crushed together. Because I'm leaving Japan soon, I wanted to explore Japan a little more. And I found an interesting article, which I was a little skeptical about at first, but it turned out to be pretty awesome. Um, it was an article about Todoroki Valley in Setagaya area. So I wanted to go visit that. It's kind of a uh, more naturistic area, and I thought it would be good to take some pictures for Instagram and stuff too, so I wanted to hang out there. Anita wanted to do a video about getting uh, stuff from the uh, Hyakuen store, like Daiso, and using those things in order to create like different like backdrops or filters uh, while taking pictures. And so we kind of combined both and went to Daiso first, then we went to Todoroki Valley in order to take pictures using the stuff that we bought from Daiso. That's the description for this video, so let's just hop on into it, I guess. Todoroki Valley is still pretty close to Tokyo. It's closer to the Setagaya area, so it will take around 30 minutes to get there if you're in main Tokyo, around Shinjuku or so. The closest station is the Todoroki station on the Tokyo Omachi line. Before we actually went to Todoroki, we went to Daiso a few stations over just so we can prepare and get our things together. Some of the things that we got were crystal ball kind of square thing. Got some sunglasses. A little bit of a flower arrangement that Anita could use as a hairband, uh, flower crown kind of appeal. We got an aluminum cupboard sheet, which we would use as a reflector, try to get some light into our pictures, because the weather was pretty dark and gloomy. It was a rainy day. For some reason, all of July has been rainy season, even though it was supposed to end in June, so I'm not really sure what that is about. We also got a commemorative Japanese fan. It's a must. We got this, uh, what the hell is this? It's like a strainer kind of candle holder, maybe. We got an actual copper sink strainer. Copper sink strainer, that's hard to pronounce. And then we got some gift wrapping. We were gonna take this bag apart in order to get some of the design. And after we gathered all our things, we headed over to Todoroki. The area around Todoroki is pretty suburban, so you might not be able to see it at first, but if you pass the grocery store and then take a right, you should be able to find it pretty easily. Ah. Todoroki Valley. Sweet <laughs> You'll first see a bridge and that's how you know where to go. And then the stairs will follow and you can take those down in order to reach Todoroki Valley. You'll need to walk a little ways in order to get to the Japanese garden as well as the temple. And there are some tombs as well which are pretty cool. But the walk is not too far. And if the weather is very nice, it'll be a lot cooler in Todoroki Valley because all the trees will be covering, there'll be a lot of shade, and the water is very close as well. If the weather is humid and kind of rainy, I highly suggest wearing long pants and long shirts, even if it's hot, just because there are more mosquitoes around. The first thing we ended up using was the strainer, and the strainer actually worked pretty well with Anita's camera. It gave a kind of 
copper a copper filter to the pictures that we took depending on how you angle the the strainer though the copper filter kind of blurred the photograph in certain occasions but i do think it is a very unique look that you can't really get from any instagram filters i'm sure they must have a filter out there somewhere that kind of replicates this but to achieve this using just random things from the Hyakuen shop, I think that's a pretty good accomplishment. For the strainer, I would give it a 4 out of 5. It was really easy to use with the camera as well, you just put it over the lens and there wasn't very much issue besides that. When we were using the copper filter, I also used the sunglasses as well, just so that I could get some different content which each with each filter because I'm wearing the same clothes too I wanted to kind of have a variety of different poses some with my jacket on and off with sunglasses and without just to be able to post kind of different things throughout the month we ended up moving to another area uh, they created a kind of bridge over the river that we wanted to take some photos at, so we moved our things to there. In this location, we used the crystal that we bought in the Hyakuen shop in Daiso. Now this one was a lot trickier to use in my opinion just because it gave a really nice effect because it reflected um, the trees that were covering the sky so it gave a really cool effect however the effect could be overpowering depending on how you angle it just the mirror effect can block out your face in a lot of the pictures it'll block out a lot of other things as well so it was very important to angle it at a certain angle so that it didn't overpower the whole composition itself because when you're doing photography you don't want to overpower the subject of the photograph of course and the subject for us was ourselves. Anita took this location opportunity in order to build her flower crown which took her a little while to adjust and kind of make look real. <laughs> Though we had to make do with what we had and in the pictures the flower crown actually looked average okay I guess uh, you know it's not looking a hundred percent real or anything like that but it did its job just like everything else did I think we've got some great pictures here as well um, of course I'm going to insert all the pictures from each location and each thing that we used in the video somewhere so you'll be able to see. I need to also use the uh, reflector substitute that we bought but in this instance it actually did work pretty well as a reflector. Of course using regular lighting will always work a little better. For the crystal I really liked the effect but it was a lot harder to use so I would give it a 3.5 out of 5 and for the reflector itself I would probably just give it a 2 out of 5 because we barely even used it. It was better as a placemat anyways just to keep our stuff dry. <laughs> Sorry I was filming myself. <laughs> We moved on a little to a rock formation that we found on the side of the trail. We thought that would be a great background. There were a lot of foot traffic in my opinion, but you kind of have to make do. It was actually not as bad as I initially thought it was going to be, just because it was more of a rainy, hot, humid day so I think less people were inclined to go out. At this location, we pulled out those design bags, um, kind of ripped it apart in order to get a church glass kind of imagery. The usage was a little difficult once again, just like the crystal. You couldn't just put the paper around the lens. You kind of had to work with it a little bit. And as you can see from some of the pictures, our fingers got in the way or it does look a little blurry um, kind of the paper and the humidity it all kind of made it a little more difficult to use overall I think the pictures turned out pretty well it was just the usage that I had a little bit of problems with but the end product is the most important thing right so I would give it probably a three and a half out of five 
I think the end product was great, it was a little difficult to use, but we kind of got through it, so probably around average. Our last location for the day was the Japanese garden. We found a smallish bamboo forest that was pretty aesthetic and getting the angle and everything right, we got everything to work. We tried to use up as much of the rest of the products that we had. Of course there were some that we didn't use and didn't get to but those probably wouldn't have turned out great anyways. I ended up using the fan for this area. Now you can't really go wrong with a fan, it just works great, it's fine. So that was a 4 out of 5. Um, it really tied in the composition together, giving it more of a Japanese style look with the bamboo and the fan, and my face being half Japanese as well. Everything tied in together and it was great. The other thing that we used was the little uh, I don't know how I explained it before, but the kind of candle holder, like things with the holes in it. And that actually turned out really good and easy to use as well. I was a little hesitant on this as well, just because I didn't know if you could see enough content through it. But I think it really gives a good uh, focus point to where you want to focus the image at. Um, obviously our faces, but it gives a very nice uh, design that is a little difficult to replicate either using Photoshop or anything like that. Um, and I think the shapes and everything looks very cool. You can center your pictures a lot easier with this uh, product as well. So for the holy lid thing, I don't know what to call it, uh, but I guess that would be the best way to put it. For the holy lid thing, I would give that a 4 out of 5 too. It was easy to use, it gives a nice new perspective on photography as well, so I was down for that. After that, it was starting to get a little late and we had other plans, so we packed up and headed back. I think overall, the challenge and the location were both a success. I highly recommend Todoroki Valley if you're searching for somewhere in Tokyo that's a lot more calm and peaceful, uh, a lot more forest and green because you don't see that much of it when you're actually in Tokyo, either just visiting or living. A lot of it is a lot more overwhelming, there's a lot more people and buildings, so having an escape like this is I would say majority of the products that we bought from the Daiso as well worked pretty well, at least 16-70% worked pretty well. I was very happy with the results, um, especially I think we only spent like 15 or $16 on everything which is really cheap. Thanks for watching this challenge slash travel video. I don't really know what category to put it in, but it was really fun to make. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment. Also like this video because it helps me. Alright, peace!